Would you like to know how much food 20 American dollars can buy you in Moscow, Russia in 2021? Let's go check it out. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Konstantin and welcome to Letters to King. We're living in today's Russia Explained by the insider you can trust. Recently, food prices in Russia have been going bananas. The prices have increased by about 20% on average. For some food, it's more, for some less. On average, 20%. That's my estimation. Our government keeps telling us from the TV that everything's fine, the prices are on the same level, everything's stable, everything's hunky-dory. But I have my own eyes and I have a camera. I filmed six months ago and I'm filming now. Oh, it feels so good to be healthy again, to be back to normal again. I feel like I can move mountains. And you know what? Let's go and move this particular food mountain. This is a medium-sized food supermarket, conveniently located not too far from my house. It's not too expensive, not too cheap. Prices are somewhere in the middle. It's nice, generally clean, bright, warm, and overall, it's pretty pleasant shopping experience. Let's take a basket. This is where I'm gonna collect all my food that I can buy for $20. So this is the entrance. This is a very strange setup for a food supermarket. Usually this is where all fresh produce is. It's a mental trick, tricks people into buying more. They come in and pick fresh produce, fruits and veggies, think that they've done such a great job buying healthy foods that later on they go and pick up more expensive and less healthy choices. That way they spend more, but you know, this area right here is not produce, very strange. Today I'm picking up very basic food for cooking, such as some vegetables, some fruits, milk, butter, pasta. We usually don't buy processed food, but whole food and cook ourselves. And this is pretty much what I'm going to do today. It's, I buy this kind of food anyway. It's just today I'm going to limit myself by $20. I usually get for much more than $20. I do shopping once or twice a week. And I think 20 bucks will feed us for about a couple days. This is a non-food section. This is none of my interest. I'm not even stopping by here. So you see, this is a not a large, huge supermarket. It's a medium size. And I'll start off porridge and pasta. There are two kinds of pastas in Russia. The imported expensive one, usually Italian, this section over there, this cheaper, Russian-made, lower quality pasta. This is a very good brand, Rumo, and the price is uh, divided by 75. One American dollar costs 75 rubles, so this is two and a half dollars. So I'm gonna get this Russian-made cheaper pasta, lower quality but a bit cheaper because I'm on budget. $20 is not much. It'll do. Buck and a half. Or actually buck 20. Sunflower oil. This is a staple in Russian households. Uh, a lot of, well, we use it a lot, okay? Dollar and a half. But I'm not gonna pick a bottle because we have plenty of sunflower oil. Look at the selection. Well, actually, it's not huge, but it's not bad. It's all sunflower oil. A little further, we have olive oil, which is much more expensive, like four or five times expensive. Extra version, $8. The ketchup section. Ketchup is incredibly popular in Russia, and Heinz is the king of Russian ketchups. Actually, I'm gonna get this Heinz ketchup. It's pretty good stuff. Dollar ten. Okay, this is all non-food sections, so I'm not even gonna step there. 
My area is right here. Sugar. 50 cents. Let's get some sugar. Regular white sugar. Four pounds of white baking flour. Uh, dollar 30 cents. We have plenty of baking flour at home, so I'm not gonna get any. The dry breakfasts. Musili, corn flakes, things like this. Let's get this for Michael. An instant porridge by Nestle. Two dollars. Purified water. Buck thirty per gallon. I don't need any because I have an excellent purifying system at home. Czech beer. I think it's made in Russia. It's just the Czech brand. It's really, really cheap. 39 rubles, that's 50 cents a bottle. Pop soda. I don't drink soda, so I'm not gonna get any. Booze, beer. All kinds of beer. This is good stuff. Imported from Germany, from Czech Republic. Two dollars a bottle. It's pretty good beer, but this is alcohol free. By the way, do you have alcohol free beer in your country? What's the point of drinking beer then? Pabst Blue Ribbon, that's American brand. Locally made craft beer, right here. This is less than a buck, by the way, and this is uh, two, three dollars per bottle. Potato chips, of course, Pringles, Lay's, and Russian made. Potato chips are really, really cheap less than a dollar per bag and nachos same thing less than a dollar per bag bud light is really cheap 50 cents per bottle bud 69 66 i've never heard of this less than a buck regular bud is 60 cents and this is hard liquor vodka moonshine vodka This section, vodka is really cheap. It's the low grade. Uh, I call it bug spray. Or... And here's the good stuff, the expensive stuff. This is about three bottles per... This section right here is three dollars per pint of vodka. And this is more expensive one. $20 for Grey Goose, for Beluga, and you know, the premium brands. Russian Standard. Do you have this in the United States? Very popular vodka. Here we have premium whiskeys. Macallan, Jameson, Singleton, Glenlivet, and you know, the likes. And that section, lower-grade stuff, Russian-made brandy. Glenfiddich, uh, $80 per bottle, 12 years old. Macallan, 12 years old, same thing, $80 per bottle. Jameson, about 25 bucks. Lays on sale. $1 per bag. And now we are finally getting close to the section that I'm looking for, the produce. Apples, buck and a half for two pounds, 75 cents per pound. These ones are cheaper. They're about 50 cents a pound, but they're not that appealing. I'm gonna get apples, bananas, uh, perhaps oranges, potatoes, some carrots, you know, the staples. Okay, this is my basket. I'm gonna put it right here. This is how we do it. We come, take a bag. It's supposed to be a fancy, convenient system, but it never works. Let's pick up a couple apples. 
these apples look decent. They're not the cheapest. Almost two dollars per two pounds, buck a pound, but hey, that's okay. I'm gonna place them. Another catch. Okay, I'm gonna get bananas, about 50 cents per pound. A uh, little greenish, but that's okay, you know, we like green bananas. Then I'm gonna get some potatoes, some oranges, right here, some uh, carrots, and some onions. A couple pounds of this green potato, really cheap quarter per pound. Some of these carrots half dollar per pound so far so good now I'll move over to the meat section diary bread you know and uh, deli bell peppers I probably should pick them up but we have so many bell peppers at home don't really need any extra we also have some cukes and tomatoes and here uh, cucumber both cucumbers and tomatoes are very low quality uh, they're not ripe the greenish, you know, and they're really, really hard, not tasty. I don't want to buy them. Um, two dollars per two pounds per kilo, so buck a pound. And some fancy stuff, it's more expensive. Cherry tomatoes, right here. I probably should get these. Dollar eighty, not too many, but my girls love them. There you go, mangoes. Two bucks a pound. These pickles, two dollars per jar. Fish section. One of my subscribers, VJ from Nova Scotia, Canada, called this food pickled herring, Salomon Bundy. Russians love pickled herring, and I think I'm gonna get one. Not a great choice here, but you know what? They're all the same. A little less than uh, two dollars for this. Poultry and meat, pork and beef. I think I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get turkey. Turkey fillet. It's actually pretty expensive stuff here. Four dollars for this uh, little bag. A pound. Four dollars a pound. Well, looks pretty good. This is diary section. Certainly getting some of these. Sour cream, 15%. And it costs one dollar. Fresh farmer's milk. This is what you do. This is a clean bottle. You open the lid. Michael loves this. This milk tastes awesome. Whew. Now it's sealed and good to go. I think I'm getting pretty close to 20 bucks, but not, not there yet. This is the sausage section. Salamis and bolognese. Bolognese and uh, hot dogs. I'm not gonna buy any. <laughs> I don't, we don't eat hot dogs. But the prices vary from cheap ones, like a little over two bucks, 
for this little bag. Two expensive ones, twice as expensive as this ones. And these are premiums, three times more expensive. Smoked salmon, it's expensive, I'm not gonna get, because I'll get over budget. I'm not gonna get any fish either. This is the Atlantic fish, it's cheaper. And this is uh, salmon, much more expensive. About seven and a half dollars per, per pound for these steaks. I'm gonna get a cheese. This cheese, Lambert, will like it so much, my girls like it. About seven bucks per pound. I'm gonna get this cheese called Mazdan. Just a little piece of cheese. This is the daily section, prepared food. It's a little over 10 p.m., so there's not much left. Usually it's very popular in the daytime or closer to the evening where people don't want to cook. They come and buy this stuff here. To me, it doesn't look appealing. It doesn't look appetizing, uh, appetizing at all, but uh, somebody finds it okay and buys it. Okay. Cheese. The milk I just got was a little more expensive than this one. Four dollars per gallon. A buck for this bottle. Sour creams and different yogurts. Sometimes I get drinkable yogurts for the girls. There it is. A large bottle of strawberry drinkable yogurt is two dollars. It's okay. I'll pick up some bread and I think I'm gonna wrap it up because I'm, I'm about around $20 right now. There are two kinds of breads, the cheap one and the fancy, more expensive one. I usually get the fancy one. Russian dark bread. We call it the black bread. Smoked ribs, hot dogs in bulk right there, pork fat, but not today. Gosh, I almost forgot eggs. <laughs> I need uh, 10 eggs. A little over of one dollar. Large white eggs. This section is um, processed food, frozen. Uh, usually don't get this stuff. Not for us. And then candies over there. Also, also don't ever get that. Whoa, it's heavy. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, this is really, really heavy. Oh. Turned out to be $23. If I deduct apple juice and cheese, that's gonna be $20 exactly. This guy right here doesn't have a mask. And he's really upset. He called manager and everyone must wear masks at the cash outs at the register. So there's a little scandal. Oh well, they're not gonna fight. Okay, this is how much food I have bought for $20. This is heavy. This is enough food to last my family of five from two to three days easily. You know, there's all kinds of stuff. Staples, cheese, milk, bread, potatoes, you know, some fruits. So all in all, this is what you get. And my question of the day, what do you get for $20 in your parts of the woods, in your country and in your city? I think there's easily 20 pounds of food here. I'm gonna get these three bags of 20 pounds to my car 
which is around the corner. Drive to my apartment, find a parking spot, and bring the stuff on the 24th floor. Oh, well, no one said life is easy in Russia, you know? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>